Greetings gamers and welcome to another live stream. This is the actual first live stream of this year, so hopefully it's going to be a good one. If you can already tell by the title, we will be diving into some more Sega Classics here. And what better way to start the year than to actually start it with a nice rock solid title that we already know that is good from the past, you know? Now, I've done Sonic 1 in the past, I believe on a couple of different streams, but we haven't really delved into Sonic 2 much. And just by noticing, um, this is one of the caveats of this collection, unfortunately. They don't have Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles, which are phenomenal games, but they got Sonic 3D Blast instead, so... Never actually really played that one much, I just remember being so disappointed about it, I just completely ignored it, so... Uh, maybe in a live stream in the future if I'm up for it, but we're focusing on Sonic 2 tonight. I think the only time I've ever really live streamed Sonic 2 in the past was... For fun, I did Sonic 2 as Knuckles, and I got pretty far, but I don't think I beat the game. I think I, Knuckles just kind of handled kind of hokey for me, so we didn't get too uh, too well off with them. But I'm going to make sure everything is set up and looking good here. Uh, I got my other setups here. It's been, it's been quite some time since I've streamed, so bear with me here. My setup is uh, not as fluent as it used to be, because I'm getting it all kind of pumped and ready here there we go just as a backup and make sure I can get a good stream on here I will say I've had pretty much positive experiences overall with streaming from the PS4 and nothing really negative to say about it but I just like to double check and make sure everything is in order here and once again we can see that uh, Ryu is here. What's going on, buddy? And even though that I have the uh, the feed to be on the screen here, I get to refer to the old computer. It's not on the screen again. I don't know what that jack thing is with uh, streaming from the PS4, but I'm really going to start looking into it now. I figured it would have fixed itself by now because uh, it might have been an update with YouTube or the PS4 or whatever it was. And yeah, it's not looking like it. It says... Um, it just has that broadcasting here. It's not going to actually stream the um, conversations, which is pretty frustrating, to be honest. I mean, that was one of the conveniences I liked in doing this, being able to read down the screen on the side and actually play the game. But, you know what? At least I got plan B. I got my device here so that I can actually read the comments. So bear with me, guys. If you see me looking to the left, I'm just trying to keep up with the comments then. So... The real question is, what's up with you? It's been a long time, my friend. A real long time. It's been just crazy on my end, and to be honest, it it took a lot for me just to finagle the live stream tonight, to be honest. So, let's have a good classic run here. Yeah, as exciting as it would be to uh, do it on the TV screen mode, I think I'm going to do full screen. There we go. That's a little bit more pleasant. And there we go. Now, the first thing I learned is we just want Sonic alone if you're doing Sonic 2. Um... How fun is that? Sonic alone is the key thing you want on this setup. And I do not know why we are not hitting that correctly. Yeah, I hit the, I mixed up which was a start button, I think, on the old uh, PS4 setup for the emulation. This will be a process. Talk about being rusty at streaming. <laughs> Full screen. Sonic by himself. So, back to Sonic by himself. Great start. Great start. Oh, 
Uh, actually, when I first had Sonic 2, I thought it was great to have Tails, because it's like, oh, you got this invulnerable AI that can sit there and kind of help you out a bit. And he kind of came in handy on a couple boss fights, you know, he, he would cop in a hit the here and there. But then I found out really fast in the actual... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Those special Chaos Emerald levels. Tails makes it pretty much impossible if you use the Tails AI because he does not keep up with Sonic accurately to collect the rings, which... You'll see what I'm talking about pretty much right here immediately. This is straight up impossible with the Tails AI following you in my opinion. As much as I enjoy Sonic 2, I can't stand these special stages. Not a fan of these at all. I mean, it's kind of cool, the 3D effect and everything, but... I really prefer the original Sonic uh, special stages. Not just because they were easier, but... They were better overall. I mean, this just gets... This gets wonky really fast. And... Get enough rings. I should be able to pull off this one. The first one's not too bad. But yeah, I've never gotten all the emeralds back in the day when I originally had it on my Sega Genesis. As a kid, never. I maybe got a handful of emeralds at best. It got so tremendously difficult it was. Yeah, not worth my while back then. But, um, I'll just barely cut it on this, and this is the easiest one. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Not doing this VR is much more helpful. <laughs> there, well, you never did the Chaos Emeralds. They're quite a mission here, Ryu. They are quite a mission. That's our goal tonight, and I think we have a good chance at actually pulling it off tonight because these uh, Chaos Emeralds fun, we have this thing called a rewind button built in this emulation here. So I'm going to use that to my advantage, with no shame. But as I was saying, I actually never saw um, Super Sonic and got all the Chaos Emeralds. I'd have to say until I was in college, because I was, uh, you know, I was revisiting some of my favorite old games, and Sonic 2 is one of them, and I just remember being hell-bent. And that's when I found out really quick, you know, the secret is make yourself Sonic by yourself, and then go for the cast emeralds, and it's still no easy task, but it's way more feasible than to have that Tails AI jacking up everything. And, I mean, Sonic 2 did so many things extremely well. I mean, they did so many things right in Sonic 2. It was, I'd have to say, Sonic 2 is probably one of the best sequels of a major franchise you can get. I mean, Sonic 1 was not a bad game in any capacity. But Sonic 2 just really took everything I liked about Sonic 1 and improved upon it. And pretty much, yeah, it didn't do anything wrong as far as I can see. I didn't get enough rings, so... No. But one of the things I liked is, I gotta say, in Sonic 1, I think there were three acts to every stage. So the levels didn't change as frequently. And, you know, it, the, lay, the level would get mildly stale, so to speak, in my opinion, with having three acts per level. And this is what I really liked about uh, Sonic 2. They had so many different uh, environments. It's two acts. You have a first act, and then you have an act with... Uh, Dr. Robotnik boss. You know, they didn't have three to kind of stretch out the time. Just made the game seem way more enjoyable to me. Now, I will say, if you have a friend that's actually good at this game, and you play Tails with them, and they can keep up with you, Tails is actually fine, because I have played, um, I remember back in the day, Eric and I would play Sonic 2, 
and um, if he controlled Tail, I didn't have too much trouble getting the emerald. We were able to pull it off because you had it wasn't the AI controlling Tails. So that's the whole problem. Was the AI the AI of Tails? From my understanding, or at least the way that looks, it's strictly it's just a delayed reaction of whatever you're doing. So if I click go to the left or spin dash or something, and the AI seems to be doing it two seconds after me, well that's great for, you know, following you through a level. I mean, that works. But you know what? It doesn't work when you have like a two second, you know, you have a one second window, if not shorter, trying to collect those uh, emeralds. And you know, the best way they could have corrected that is that Tails would not take damage for you to lose rings in those emerald things. Because guess what? The way Tails works in this game is his damage doesn't affect you. So why does he, the damage affect you in the special stages? That stuff drives me nuts. You know, they didn't really think that one all the way through. All those rings and no chances for a uh, special stage. Well, I learned something new. I did not know they wanted to make uh, Tails female. Thanks for the uh, the fun fact there, you. That's why I love when you join the streams. You always have a you and Izzy always have a plethora of knowledge to share. Yeah, that would have been interesting. Tails as a female, huh? Well, they already had a female character. They had Amy Rose, technically. So why would they have made another female? I don't know. The emulation on this is pretty good. My only complaint, pretty much on all these games I'm going to have, is uh, the PS4 D-pad. It's not even a D-pad. At least not like a D-pad that I'm accustomed to. That would be like on the Sega Genesis or a Nintendo or something. And it just, I don't know, it always sticks to me or doesn't feel right. But I did see that they make like those... um those kid versions of controllers for the PS4 and the Xbox One, and I heard that those are actually excellent for uh, retro games or games like this. So if you plug in that, because they have like a traditional D-pad on them, you know what? I don't know if you've ever uh, tried one of those controllers, Ryu, but those things look like they might be a solution for, you know, games like this in particular, if you want the traditional D-pad feel of look. Ah, oh, crud. See, you miss a lot. I hate this crap, too. They do that whole spinning around and, and then dodge these things. That's a lot of missing. You can't hit nothing. Yikes. Yikes. Up and missed the chunk. I still cut mustard, though. That's good. Yeah, this is just the second emerald, and they really, uh, they really boost up the difficulty. And, and that's... That's where the trouble happens right there, my friends. If you make a mistake like that, you won't pay for it. Well, guess what? This is where we use our advantage, then. If I didn't get hit by, uh... Let's see where I got hit. Because that hit is what pretty much cost me. There it is. Okay, right about there. I'll stay all the way up high, I believe. Ah, okay. Oh! <laughs> Still! Man, those suckers are hanging out for a while. They sneak it on you right there. There we go. I think it'll be way more feasible tonight with this advantage. Yeah, good old clingy Amy Rose. Well, there's
there's two Sonic Emeralds down. <coughs> Slowly but surely. and water really turns into tepid fudge real quick. It's not even water, this is what, toxic waste? Whether he can hold his breath in it or not is great, but... Whoops. <laughs> Everybody's favorite uh, sound effect. I love listening to that. There we go. You know, that's, that stuff's got to be hurting his skin. But luckily, you don't take any hits from it. And survey says... Yeah, when I think about uh, special stages in that, for Sonic games, another one that comes to mind is... Um, Pretty tricky to do in Sonic CD, the special uh, stages. Those were tricky too. They were doable, but they were pretty tricky. That 3D perspective. Oh, that was, that was good timing on my part. Whoops. Let's see where we screwed up there. The problem is with him is that uh, I should have backed off a little bit sooner. Usually, if you get there fast enough, you can kill them in time. Whoops. And when you do kill them in time, make sure you actually land there. That's the problem. Whoops. I love all the mulligan powers of emulation. And you know what? Like I said, I have no shame because I've already traditionally beaten this a dozen times back in the day. So it's time to enjoy the convenience. Yeah, I don't I, uh, it, Sonic CD is an interesting topic with, uh, with a lot of people. A lot of people like to argue that, you know, it's one of the best Sonic games. Other people want to argue it's too damn confusing. And, and you know what, with me, I, I'm one of those, I actually, I'm in between. I'll, I understand where people get off how confusing it is. But I will say the, the graphics and the music, the whole layout of it all, it's, it is a pretty damn great Sonic game. It really does feel like, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Sonic CD was originally supposed to be Sonic 2, but they decided to make it an exclusive to, um, to the Sega CD. And then we got this Sonic 2, which was as fantastic for the regular Sega Genesis. So it's almost like uh, Sonic CD is like Sonic 1.5, it's in between. It's... Yeah, we got more of a, a water fun here. There we go. Slowly but surely with the water. Those arrows, man. They really got the timing down cold with that, don't they? Okay. <laughs> so I guess I should have just uh, spun down on that one. That's what I was supposed to do. Oh, come on! If I was in a super spin dash thing... Alright, you know what I say? Can you super spin dash underwater? Yeah. He still didn't stay as a ball. I was hoping to just crush those things with that. Because my whole concern is to um, get the uh, chance for an emerald. We gotta get the supersonic uh, rolling soon here. I wanna try to get it in a decent amount of time. There we go. But another thing that I thought was 
kind of interesting when it comes to these 16-bit uh, Sonics. It's how a lot of people like to say that Sonic 2 is the best out of all of them. And you know what? <coughs> I'll say it's very good, and I'll easily say it's better than Sonic 1. But, um... When you get to Sonic 3, I actually think Sonic 3 is arguably one of the best for the 16-bit generation Sonic. Now, a fun fact about me is I have beaten 1, 2, and 3, and that's it. I own Sonic and Knuckles, but I never sat down and gave it the college try. By the time I picked up a copy of Sonic and Knuckles, I just didn't have the interest or time for it. And that's why I'm so disappointed. This uh, compilation didn't come with Sonic and Knuckles, because this would have been a great, nice and convenient way to experience it. And I don't know why the heck they didn't uh, include it on this. It's kind of a real wasted opportunity. Yeah, since I made that mistake, let's get some air more air. Yeah, you got a good point. The music here is uh, pretty, um, pretty memorable. When you think of Sonic music, you usually think of a few tunes from the first one. And <laughs> I keep making the same mistake. And, uh, but a lot of Sonic 2 music shines out. It's kind of funny. It's, uh, it's a lot like the, Me I like to call it the Mega Man Syndrome. Mega Man 1 had some good tunes in it, and then Mega Man 2, like, blew it out of the water, had, had phenomenal music. And, uh, Mega Man 3, I think, is, is right on par with 2. It's hard to say one is better than the other, but... I guess if I had to say, Mega Man 2 it might squeak out with better music than Mega Man 3 at the end of the day, but Mega Man 3 also had some pretty um, phenomenal music in my opinion. Now, I'm not seeing any of those um, level thing majigs here, and these acts anywhere, any of the checkpoints, so then I can actually um, get a special stage. Where the heck are they? I'm guessing they're not underwater. I should be trying to find them above water. Yeah, water levels in Sonic just never meshed well with me. It kind of defeats the purpose of the game. It's like, listen, you, you don't play Sonic, so then you can go slow as molasses underwater. Oh, what a rip. I'm trying to keep these so then we can actually get the, uh, checkpoint thing, which there might be one up there, hopefully. Maybe? Or not? There it is. There we go. We gotta get some more emeralds. Cross our fingers. Alright, the red level. Lots of jumping. I can see where the rings are coming. Yeah, that's where the sloppiness happens. Yikes. I expect you to have a lot of rings here. Yeah, they're really uh, sprinkling those bad guys all over. They kind of place tricks with your eyes the way they got that curving all over the place, too. Okay, some rings eventually. And the worst part is, in the in the real game, this is it. I didn't even get hit, and I don't have enough rings to show for that. So where did I miss a good chunk of rings? Because I think I was, what, five short? It's hard to tell where Sonic is standing. Four rings. Yeah, still went on up. Now, this sucker really wants to make sure you, uh... I'm 
trying to look at where rings were even missed, really. Maybe I was only getting one side of all the rings? Maybe that's what it was when I was doing that. Yeah, you gotta get Sonic dead center. That's where the mistake was. Dang. You just can't miss any rings. And when you have, like, those triangles of rings, I don't even fully get how you're supposed to grab them all. Yikes. It's hard enough to, uh, dodge these things, let alone get enough flipping rings. Yeah, this is, uh, ridiculous. I missed a lot of rings doing that one. That one we're gonna have to get real fancy with. Thank goodness for the rewind. And this is what? This is only the third emerald. This is only the third emerald. This is not even, um... Uh, I still needed more after that. Okay. Five more before that. Um, I guess I missed a chunk of rings there. Or maybe I missed... Oh, I missed a lot of rings here. Oh, right here I missed a lot of rings. Ah. It's like you're not allowed to miss any rings. Nope. Is that enough rings? Thank goodness. What a pain in the ass. Whew. Yeah, you're right. Those checkpoints were above water, Ryu. Well, we got three of them. Slowly but surely. Ah, <laughs> oh, we got this fun. Oh, they take all your rings before you fight them, then? Oh, that's nice. So you get to fight them with no rings. Ah. It's like the creativity of how many different contraptions they did with that robot deck on these. Because you gotta think of how many variants. Well, so far, three KS Emeralds and, uh, three levels down. Slowly but surely here. Ah, Casino Night. The, uh... I'm assuming this was the inspiration for Sonic Spinball. And you want to know what's crazy about it all? Is that, uh... Look at how fast and smooth this is running. And this is just... This isn't even a game dedicated to this level. And I don't know if you've played Sonic Spinball or not. Sonic Spinball... Runs, like, slow as molasses. And it's like... I don't even understand why it's doing that, because when I first anticipated playing Sonic Spinball, I was literally expecting the, uh, the speed and, um, the speed and ability of, uh, this level in Sonic 2, and it's nowhere near it, so I don't understand how they screwed that up, because right here shows that, obviously, the hardware can handle Sonic being fast, I don't know, it slowed it down. Alright, good times on that. At least it didn't squish you on that one. And one of these have got to have I guess that's some secret or something. I'll take it. I'm just looking for more of the checkpoints because I want to get more of these Chaos Emerald levels out of the way.
but yeah, I'll never forget that. Having all the Chaos Emeralds was definitely far from feasibly attainable. Back when I originally had this game as a kid, no way. It was like challenging enough for me to, uh, to beat the game, let alone beat it in that optimal way with all the Chaos Emeralds. Interesting, like it seems like they're literally hiding these checkpoints. I got enough rings. But where the heck is a checkpoint already? Yeah, and there's the end of the level. With a hundred rings. I don't know. You know Spinball, I never could get into it just because uh, the reason I was telling you is I was expecting it to have this kind of speed, but I see it, it, it does have an interesting novelty to it. I mean, it's a cool idea. I just think that they executed it not that well. I don't know. Sonic Spinball, I don't know if it's on this compilation or not. I, wouldn't, I don't think they put it on this one. I hope they would not waste some space, but I couldn't tell you the last time I played Sonic Spinball. Man, I'd, I'd be willing to, um, uh, 49 rings, and there's the thing. Let's try to find a ring now that I've actually seen one of these stupid checkpoints. Give me a ring. Give me an extra ring. already. Alright, time for the fun to begin some more. The most dreaded part of Sonic 2 for me. Like, as far as I'm concerned, this is the hardest part of this damn game. That was rough. I don't know how the heck they expect you to grab more rings. They really lay them all over the place. And... That... Yep. Whoa! And then you... Yeah, that was just a hot mess. Let's... Let's, uh... Rewind here. Okay. Yep. A little bit more. Okay, as soon as I get those, and all the way here. That's what I need to. You really gotta have these... These levels memorized. And the worst part about it is... How the heck were you supposed to memorize these back then? Because you only got one shot at them. And then that was it. I mean... There was no feasible way to study the levels. Like, how was I supposed to sneak over here soon enough, like right there, and get more rings? Okay. Actually, um, it's kind of a funny story. With Sonic 3, I was like the king at getting the Chaos Emeralds that, like, um, what is it? You're like on that checkerboard, you gotta avoid the, the red balls, and you gotta hit all the blue balls, or whatever it is. I was like, um, phenomenal at Sonic 3. And that, that was the first... Well, no, not the first game. I was able to get all the emeralds in Sonic 1. Sonic 2, barely any. Sonic 3, I got all the emeralds, no problem. And that's the first time I really got Super Sonic legitimately back in the day. So that's where we're looking at that one. Oh. Ah, in Sonic Generations, you're right. Good point, Ryu. Yep, I almost forgot about Sonic Generations. That's a really good, solid title. Sonic Generations is pretty dang enjoyable, in my opinion. 
that was one of the better um, new Sonic titles for the time when it came out. Because Sonic Generations came out at a time when they were just cranking out pretty um, mediocre at best Sonic games. And I remember really enjoying that one. I like the whole um, mechanic of having 2D Sonic and 3D Sonic uh, sharing a world. And then, um, you know, looking at it from a different perspective. We got our specialist stage done. Let's just try to survive out of here. Alright. Fun begins. Perfect timing. Well, at least I'm good at missing them. Remember I used to have this down cold, I could almost zip up the whole wall and land, land on him just like that, no problem. That's when I played this a lot more frequently. Like I said, I think the last time I played Sonic 2 Hell was like three years ago, and that was using Knuckles. So I wasn't even using Sonic. And uh, it was kind of interesting being Knuckles, but man, the game was not that good. With, uh, Knuckles, it was way more, way more difficult. I mean, I know, I know Knuckles has that advantage of climbing walls, but that really didn't uh, make up for all his other shortcomings, to say the least. Top zone fun. <laughs> Didn't work out as smooth as I had hoped with that. I gotta try to keep my rings too so I can get, um. our next emerald stage here. Zip up there. Yeah, it's just so, um... I don't know how to put it. It's so refreshing. All these different uh, environments in Sonic 2. Because Sonic 1, as good as it was, it just didn't have the uh, feel of as many different levels. And now that we actually have, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Enough rings. Can we find a checkpoint? Seems like these checkpoints are just straight up hidden. Um, where the heck was I supposed to go from there? Lives. I just want to get. <laughs> That's where you'd get the big old whoops. Yeah, 
Yeah, how do you like that? Whoops. Checkpoint, anyone? I, I never realized how difficult it is to actually find a checkpoint. Once you got enough rings, it's like, where is it? Ah, there we go, finally. Well, let's let the fun begin, shall we? Ah, green and orange. Anything just to blind you. Alright, pick them all up. See, and then you get in those situations. Oh, crud, this stuff. This is where it starts getting really annoying. Like, this, uh, zipping in a big circle, all the way up in the air, yeah, you didn't even get them. Like, come on, man, how the heck are you supposed to pick that all up? I mean... And look at this situation, that, this is literally impossible to get all the rings. Yeah, I think it's safe to say it's impossible to get all the rings in every one of these stages. Because the Sonic's catching catching radius here is ridiculously narrow. Two rings short. Didn't run into enough rings. Where would have I have been able to run into more rings? Maybe right here. Maybe. Yeah, one ring short. Look at that. Okay, so all these, the best way to have gotten all these rings. Like that? Maybe? Maybe? Barely. Just got the amount needed for that. Yeah, with those, that's the best you're gonna do with that. Oh, great. Now you're gonna have this curvy, wervy, weird stuff. Look at this. I don't know what the heck to do with that. Like... Oh, I hate this. Like, what do you want me to do with all this? Okay, you grabbed like four rings out of all that. Now it's screaming at you how many rings are short. It's like... Dude! I think it's an incredible enough if you, um... Just the minimum again. Man! This is... This is cheating! And then barely getting the minimum. <laughs> Oh, look at that. How are you going to get much of anything up here? Another one. They're just floating up in the air. Yep, I'll just grab something up there. And then right here. Good luck. Look at that. And all the way up here. Yeah, have a ring, Sonic. Look at that. Uh, up. Okay, I got a few that time. And yeah. Rub a lamp, man, and I'm supposed to be magically grabbing those next? Okay, so I'm supposed to go... This is probably making people dizzy. Look at that! It's like, okay... Yeah, give me a break. Like, you're supposed to have this pattern down cold to just zip around and grab all the rings needed. Wow, barely. That uh, that time I got just the minimum each time. That's insane. Yeah, that's that's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap. Oh, how many more of these damn chaos emeralds we need for you? <laughs> Had my fill of them already. Six Chaos Emeralds? Don't tell me it's eight. <laughs> Don't tell me it's eight Chaos Emeralds. It's gotta be six or seven. I don't think it's eight. I'm gonna go with six. I'm gonna hold. Oh, 
like the spot, I should have had enough rings. So, where am I missing opportunities to get a bunch of rings at? I'm assuming once you see that, that's where some rings... Why didn't it get rings up there? Okay. Nothing. I missed whatever that was. Well, that stinks. Damn, that stinks. And this isn't enough. That. I wonder if I can... Unless there's something down here, maybe? <clears throat> Not that. Okay, jump over it. I wonder if I can come back. Eh. Dang it. Do I know where one of those dumb checkpoints are? I want to have enough rings. Whoops! Yeah, this'll help, but it's not gonna be the saving grace. enough rings, and I'm sure there's not a checkpoint now. Survey says... favorite thing to do. Alright. Hopefully this is the last one, I don't know. Crossing my fingers. Alright, so far, not so terrible. Sloppy. Yeah, you really gotta have a rhythm for this. I mean, you really just gotta have a good rhythm. Barely. Yeah. <laughs> Missed the whole wall of rings on that. And another wall of them. Dang it, Sonic. Quit slipping around. Oh, not this crap. Like, how are you supposed to have the finesse for this? No. I ain't got this kind of finesse. No. And then dodge a bunch of stuff. And then yell at you that you need 16 more rings still. Ugh. Seven more rings. Three more rings. I guess I should have missed three over here. Oh, dang! Two more rings. I don't think I could have collected more than that. It was all that bobbing and weaving stuff. Barely. Okay. Now what? Two hundred and ten. Rubble lamp. Ooh. Yeah. This is where the punishment begins. Give me my rings. Yikes. Even that, you're jumping over the rings. It's like I was supposed to know and jump early so I could fall into the rings. Like jump this early and fall into some rings. Wow. That's madness. You should get rings or points for, for destroying those things, which I didn't even realize you could do. Yeah. Whoa. And a few more. And... I'm guessing that was the end. So, I'm, what, five short? 
Or could I have picked up an extra five? Maybe? Oh, if I would have been down the center of this, maybe. Two. Okay, or could I have picked up an extra two before that? Eleven. Three. I still didn't pick up enough. Dang it. Barely. Perfect. 210. Wow. That was with how many mulligans? Survey said. So we got six. I'm hoping that's enough. Is six going to cut mustard for those? Yeah, this boss is fun. As long as you don't make that mistake like I did. I got a little too greedy because uh, I'm used to having rings. I just gave up all my rings. Oh, get over there, Sonic! There we go. Uh, yeah. I gotta attack this a whole different way because of... Uh, Oh, you slippery hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, so... Dang it, man. I had to use up all my rings on this bozo. Just redo this whole fight here. Because usually, if you did it fast enough, you could hit him enough times and actually kill him. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I'm used to doing. Get him in the first hit. I didn't even know he did that thing where it like lit up the ground and stuff. Because usually, I kill him that fast. Is it 50 rings for Super Sonic or 100? Is it only 50 rings? We're gonna have to look into that one. Maybe it is 50 rings. Yeah, now that we're up to these uh, pretty high levels that, you know, getting a large amount of rings is not that uh, available. But we'll get there. There's a chunk of rings. There we go. Alright, now that we got our 50 rings... Let's see what the survey says. If we gotta get rid of the spot. Should these people go... No? Not enough for you. I guess you jinxed it. It must be several... 7 or 8k on Emeralds. Because, uh, to be supersonic, last time I checked, you just had to jump twice, I believe. Or we need 100 rings. So let's see if 100 rings might be it. We're getting close. A few more rings. And... Now there's 100. Is that going to do the trick for us? Yep, we don't have enough uh, Chaos Emeralds. It must be seven or eight. Dang. Of course it's not six Chaos Emeralds. That would have been, uh... That would have been too easy. Yeah, the theme is pretty cool. This is a uh, Halloween nail bit, you know what I mean? Very good fall Halloween-ish theme. Oh, we 
up plenty of rings if we can find a uh, checkpoint thing to jig. Which, uh, I'm trying to see if I could get to one up there, possibly. So I've got a funny feeling that there might be one up here, maybe? Maybe? Bunch of rings. Anything good? More rings, but it's looking all over the place. Oh, what the heck? What good is that doing for you? Nothing. Ugh. I love how they strategically put those lightning bugs everywhere. Uh, I went around all over here. Checkpoints, though. Whoops, that was a short change jump. And. Ah. No checkpoints, though, huh? Let's get pick for a checkpoint though. There's one down here. No. Hmm. Oh, that's frustrating. Come on, there's got to be a checkpoint. Got all these rings. Oh, and they'll give you more rings. Great. Man, I'm even trying to like slowly go through and look around for possible checkpoint spots. And just none are popping out. Maybe there's something past that bridge. How'd that bridge go down? No way for that bridge to go down, of course not. Yep. I think that backtracking is a little limited. Dang it. All these rings and no checkpoint to use them on. Pretty frustrating. It's seven of them, of course. We're one short. Yeah, you know, now that I think about it, Ryu, if uh, it was all of them, I think after we got them all, it would have did something and said Sonic got them all or something. Instead of just showing the six. Giving us a vulnerability in some of the silly spots that's all nice and slow. Like, okay. Alright, we got enough um, for another crack at an. at a. Um, emerald if we can find a uh, checkpoint. Checkpoint anywhere? Somewhere? Checkpoint? Hello? Checkpoint. You know, that's one thing that Mario has down, is checkpoints are unmissable. In Sonic, they're literally, like, hidden. It's like, come on, man, where the, where the hell are the checkpoints here? A whole lot of no dice, man. 
It's like I can find a hundred rings before I can find the checkpoint. Which it's great to have plenty of rings, but when we need to spend them on a checkpoint here. I'm even finding a second shield. There we go. Finally. Okay, now this is supposedly the last one, right? Uh, looks like the last one got some gray and yellow action here. A hundred rings. Yeah, this is not gonna be easy. Mm. Right from the get-go, they're already, um... Making it... Oops. Uh, about as tricky as possible. And if I wonder if I can just get over fast enough... It's, uh... I can't miss them. Man, there's so many rings. Wow, I'm like, here you can't miss nothing. I'm gonna go out on a limb and probably say that this is easily the hardest special stage to any Sonic, and all and arguably maybe any dumb game that requires a special stage to get stuff. I mean, you have to have. I would think the reflexes of my best years in video gaming could come near what is needed for this. Dang you! I can't believe how many flipping rings I gotta give you. 150 for the second wave. Alright, survey says. Barely picking up any. Come on, you. That's one side, the other side, the other side. Just keep rocking back and forth. Ugh. And that's where they're gonna get you. Oh, now they're just throwing them all over the place. Yeah, that's just... Give me a break. That is just wrong. Yeah. We got rings floating all over the place. And now you're gonna have, what, bad guys floating all over the place. Look at this. How are you supposed to pick up enough rings when they're just not even in a group? Wow, you know what's in a group? The bad guys. Look at this! I don't even understand. I'm better at dodging rings than the bad guys. I don't even know if that's enough. Was that enough? Ah, see, that's, that's what I was talking about with you. It has to say Sonic has all the emeralds, finally. This is, uh... That was hard with a rewind cheating feature. I don't know how people legitimately did that <laughs> back in the 90s. Oh, of course, now I have no rings. So this is gonna be a fun fight. It's gonna be a real fun fight because this uh this Dr. Robotnik is extremely particular in how the heck you can even attack him. I think it's just like the icicle shaped things are the only things that can really hurt you. Exactly, like how come that Count to, you know, it hurts you. It's pretty jacked how they do that stuff. 
Oh. At least the Chaos Emeralds are out of the way. <laughs> hey, what's up, 40 Warrior? Nothing's more fun than surviving without rings. The only thing better than surviving without rings is, uh, surviving and trying to get Chaos Emeralds on Sonic 2. Okay, now that we can supposedly turn into Super Sonic, we're assuming, uh, as me and Ryu were um, debating on, we didn't know if it was 100 or 50 rings, so if you know 40 Warrior, please share with the group, because... I don't know. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's gotta be... I thought it was 100, but you know what? For some reason, 50 might work too, I don't know. Which we're not gonna see at that rate. Let's try to pick up enough rings just so that we can actually see the, uh, the fruits of our labor of trying to get all these Chaos Emeralds, man. That's the scariest part if you think about this back in the day as a kid. You got all this Chaos Emeralds. You, you better hope that you don't have to get your homework done or go to bed or the power doesn't go out or somebody doesn't turn off your system to uh, actually enjoy seeing what Supersonic like. Uh, I love this stuff, getting stuck in all the oil. Ah, there it is. It's 50. Ryu is correct. It is only 50 required. That is all that great work. We now have Super Sonic, which doesn't really fit the speed of this level. But he does go pretty quick as soon as you click him. Where do you want to go? Oh, but he can't go past the power of a fan? You can only stay supersonic as long as you have the rings for it, I'm assuming, right? Oh, that's right, supersonic can't... Does that make him vulnerable? What the heck happened to his hair? It really gets, uh, pretty zipped up. And I'll tell you the truth, supersonic handle's a little, uh, too screwy. At least for this level. You want some precision? It ain't happening with supersonic, he's all over the place. Now give me Supersonic against uh, Robotnik or something. It's cool, it's different poses and stuff though. Yeah. Yeah, but he's really fidgety, man. Just trying to get him to line up on these caps and stuff. And he's eating up the rings. He's just a ring-eating machine more rings. How about some invulnerability on top of Supersonic? There you go. That's funny. Yeah. Alright, I'm assuming that's somewhere you want to go. Where I was just at. Ten. See, it's just parts of the stages, like this. There's not enough time. It eats up everything. So... Are all those Chaos Emeralds worth all of that? I don't know. In earlier levels it would have been cooler to zip around, but... This level, and pretty much all the levels now are... They're not as fast-paced. They're all kind of... I don't know, convoluted mess. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know about uh, John Cena being the ultimate power. That's more like, uh, what is that, Fruit? Um, what is that, uh, Fruity Pebbles. I think that's what he's a big fan of. It's been a long time since I had some Fruity Pebbles. I gotta put that on my list. That and Cocoa Pebbles. I mean, that's one of the few sugar cereals of the past that I was always, uh, could always go for it. Now, it's nothing you want to eat regularly, but it's, it's nice every blue moon, even being a sugary kid to uh, Super Sonic wouldn't have made that mistake.
And it really irks me it doesn't work on the PS4 for the chat on the screen. Pretty much defeats the purpose for me here. Having to look at a laptop screen is no uh, picnic. And I just accidentally turned into Supersonic. Didn't even realize it. Or does it just automatically turn you into Supersonic at 50? I can't tell if I accidentally hit the jump button twice. Oh, well, there goes all my rings. Just eat them all up, Supersonic. Okay, where am I supposed to go with this? Am I supposed to go against the green? Where am I going? Yeah, nothing's more exciting than, um, yeah. You're so hopped up and powerful, you're going against the directions you're supposed to be going. And you don't even realize it. Ugh, come on. Yeah, he's just way too wily to, um, to control. Um... Okay... I mean, he can blast through everything. Come on, while well, he's still supersonic, let's go! Supersonic would've killed him by now, come on! Aw, oh, crud. This is another one that's like that Fire Doctor Robotnik from, like, the cave level or whatever, the hilltop or something. That is, um... I would've had this guy killed a lot sooner if I wasn't in stupid supersonic mode where it was making me fly all over the place. Because you can get him like that. Just get him. Yeah, Supersonic seems to actually be more of a nuisance than an advantage, I gotta say. <laughs> I didn't get to see Bumblebee, but I'll take your word for it, Mega Gray. Oh, can't get enough of this level. I always like the theme music to this level, but I was always irked by the, um, the flow of it. Like, all these higher levels in Sonic 2, they'll have, like, a couple cool-looking graphical speed sections, but they're just kind of hokey. But it does have some catchy music. Yeah, but I didn't get to really tell you guys. Yeah, life has not been very forgiving on the time schedule, so... The rule of thumb is going to be I'm going to be doing the college try of... Pretty much streaming Sunday nights. It's the only night that's... Somewhat feasible with my... New schedule and... Things going on, to say the least. And... Oh, crud. I don't even think I hit the button twice. Did I just get 50? Damn you, Supersonic. <laughs> Alright, let's go fast, Supersonic. But, um, as I was saying, till Supersonic took over, now I'm gonna try to make it a thing to get back into the groove of things. I am extremely behind on posting some new content, because, to be honest, I'm really interested in trying out that Premiere feature that YouTube does. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Some channels use it, but I think it's pretty cool. Where you'll premiere um, a video that you made, it'll give you guys a notification of when it'll actually post, and then when it posts, I'll actually be there so that you can tell me how wonderful or how crappy the video is, and I can, you know, either listen to the applause or defend the video while it's going on. It sounds interesting. So, the videos I have been doing some work on were just a couple review videos, they were nothing too elaborate. I haven't gotten into the... I haven't really had a good opportunity to do a Let's Play video. I know that was one of the higher requests, but I know that live streaming was definitely one, so I'm giving you guys that, I can tell you that much. 
but a Let's Play has got a lot involved for me to set up with my schedule, with my family, and having um, things just being, you know, an uninterruptible gap of time is tough, to say the least. But yeah, I'm going to try to keep it consistent for you guys. Alright, and Izzy is here. Good times can finally roll. You have been missed, sir. You have been missed. And I am with you, Mega Gray. I can't stand this starfish either. <laughs> the starfish that shoots out stuff. But the crazy thing is, the one thing I'll assure you guys, eventually things will get more control with my schedule. And um, a lot of my ideas for the channel, they don't really have a time limit on them. They're all pretty much good gold. Oh, I hate that damn bat crab. They all have um, their ideas that don't age. So what I've been doing is keeping a good track of them. So then when I do magically have the time, they will get addressed, to say the least. It's just the current stuff. I don't know. Is it just me, or does it seem like that all these um, new games that come out that are actually worth time to invest in them, they're just coming out too many at the same time? I, I really do not know how to, at least being an adult, organize your time so you can actually utilize the enjoyment of all these new games. Like, for an example, um, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out haven't touched it. Hell, I never even beat Red Dead Redemption 1. Um, Spider-Man for the PS4, I still don't have it. That is on my bucket list. That one looks extremely, um, fun. I've been, uh, itching for a good sandbox game one of these days. If I ever do pick up a copy, you can count on me, uh, streaming that one. Um, if you guys have played either Red Dead Redemption 2 or, um, Spider-Man, let me know if you think uh, one's better than the other, if I should invest one or the other. When I do actually have the time, which is who knows when. So, I'm only advantage to being behind games, which I don't mind so much, is I just don't buy games when they come out anymore. Very rarely do I do that anymore, because it's really got to be a perfect storm to have the time and money, and then to actually put the effort in to get what you paid for out of these games. It's crazy. It seems like every game wants to own your entire life schedule. And the way gaming has been going... I don't know what the heck I'm doing with this. Come on. The way gaming has changed... Was he just going to wait for me? Alright. Way that gaming is changing for modern games and stuff, and just the demand, it's actually pushing me to just go more into these older games, which I really don't mind. God, I hate this thing. You know what? That thing's worse than the star. F this thing. What is this? Even a grasshopper? Ugh. But anyway, it's hard to talk and not get irritated as the hell when you're trying to do this. Aw, oh, hell. This is why we have Rewind, right? Thank you. Yeah, and that was me, uh, dealing with the laptop spot on that. Hang it. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. This is probably my worst Sonic run yet. Thank God for the Rewind button. But no, as I was saying, I just want to play games that I can actually finish in, I would say, five hours or less. I mean, I'm a big fan of all these games from the past that you can beat in one, two, three hours tops, you know what I mean? Um, it just seems like there's so many games coming out that are like 40 hour games left and right, you know what? In the past, I don't remember really having to dedicate a lot of time to a game, unless it was Zelda. Or a computer game, really, at the time. Like, back in the day, I'd play Diablo, or um, Warcraft. Well, the original stuff, not that World of Warcraft crap. I never got into that. Like, the original strategy game. You know, or a first-person shooter game that'd take maybe 
five to ten hours, like a real tournament or something. Doom. But games nowadays just seem like they gotta take your life away. I think that's, uh, maybe that works for the youth, but not for the adults anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wow, 90 hours for Final Fantasy Tactics? 90 hours? Okay, you, you, you deserve a medal or something. Jeez, how far does that go? I don't even know if I've invested. I can think of a game that I invested 90 hours in that wasn't like, um, Ultima Online or something. 90 hours in a game, that's, that's sick. Sorry. Well, you know what, I take that back. If I think about it, I'm sure uh, people could dump 90 hours in, like, Grand Theft Auto V or something. But I think it has to be online. If Final Fantasy Tactics isn't an online game, I don't think. I'm not too familiar with Final Fantasy. That's another series that never really, um, I never really kept up with. I've only beaten Final Fantasy 2 on the Super Nintendo. That's about it. Final Fantasy 1 on the NES. I actually got pretty close to the end. Dang it, but I didn't beat it. It's actually, I think it's still on my cart. I think the battery save still works, so... There's our star fun. There we go. You know, that don't make sense. I thought those things aren't supposed to... ...set off unless you're... Yeah, okay, they're gonna do it anyway. Fantastic. But yeah, I mean, like everybody can agree with, the older you get, the more precious time is. And it's, it's got to be pretty, um, it's got to be one hell of a game if it's going to absorb that kind of time. And if you're, oh, uh, I didn't even hit the button to become Sonic that time. I hate to say it, I'm actually irritated with Super Sonic. This is, this is just annoying. I mean, I wouldn't mind turning into Super Sonic Maybe when I'm fighting Robotnik or something, but when I'm trying to do this level, he's, he's handling like crap. It's like he's in some weird speed mode and I can't control him very well. Come on! He's never in floating right. There we go. I guess I can stand in lava and forget about this. Okay. Ugh. But, you know, uh, he's so difficult to control. I can't even jump on the platform. Yeah, there's nothing super about this Sonic. This Sonic sucks. I'm, I'm burning up uh, precious time and my rings here just trying to jump on these damn things. Okay, let's leave it, like, right here. Okay. <laughs> you stupid fidgety Sonic. Like, I can't tap the button light enough for him to land just where I want him to. Yeah, that's great that... Ugh. This is hell. You want to torture somebody? Play Sonic 2 completely as Super Sonic. Or give him a PS4 controller there, finally. Damn. I thought this was supposed to make the game easier, not more annoying and more difficult. Yeah, give me plain old Sonic, thank you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, when I could have used to be Super Sonic next to him, or this. Where the hell is Super Sonic now? Uh, what the hell? I'm just gonna just start going off on tangents about this. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I know. Um, I know there's other um, adult gamers like myself out there. What, what's you guys' two cents when it comes to dedicating time to games? I mean, personally, I'm a bigger fan of finding games that you can beat within, you know, a five-hour. You know, time slot, it's like... I know there's fantastic games out there you can live in for like 50 hours, but... I just think to myself, how many other experiences I'm missing out on because of that? 
Uh, what are we gonna do with this grasshopper? Dude, I can't even jump at him and kill him? How about there? Alright, that's what I could have done. Ah, where would we be without the rewind feature in this day and age? Well, well I can't need to worry about that anymore. I got a few rings. Let's see what everybody is. <laughs> Neptune, yet? You mean Neptune? Well, you know what? That's funny you bring up uh, racing games like Ridge Racer. You know what? That's what I always liked about racing games, but even those now have gotten ridiculous. I've never really played the Forza games much, or Forza Horizon, but it was a free game with gold. And I started playing it, and then it just started to turn into, like, some long-ass game. And it's like, dude, I just want a quick arcade racing game. I don't want all this go-around-a-map and find hidden cars in a barn and crap. I'm like, just give me all the cars. And, um, I don't know, like I said, with my time and age, I am really not crud. I'm going to need at least one ring to survive this. Give me that one ring. Dude! He's really trapping me in this corner here. What are we going to do about this? Okay. Um, got to hit him just right? Or I got to grab the ring and then hit him? There we go. All these mini robotics. Oh, and then the ring. I love how the ring has a bounce to it sometimes, and then other times it's like, nope, you better catch it. But yeah, the Forza Horizon series, it's like, no thanks. I feel the best, um, in between, like, to add some, I don't know, RPG elements or some time to a racing game and still keep an arcade effect, would be like, um, a uh, crud. Be like kind of how Need for Speed has done it in the past. Like, I was a fan of uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. I mean, that game's old as hell now, but that was kind of cool. It kind of had an open world to it to get upgrades and races and stuff, and, and Burnout Paradise did a pretty good job on how they made it like a racing open world type game, but that um, Forza Horizon, I don't know. Couldn't get into that one. Uh, the only time that it's good to have Tails in Sonic 2, when he's flying the plane for you. I remember when I first played this level as a kid, I was paranoid of falling off the plane. I'm like, I didn't realize it doesn't matter what I do, that he'll catch me. Beautiful. Good timing for that turtle to crap out a bullet. What's with all these flying turtles anyway? What well, they got against Sonic? I don't know, I think you might be able to actually shake tails if you, um... Let's try it for the hell of it, why not? I think if you spin dash, you can, uh, ditch him, can't you? <laughs> yep. You can still fall off. I had a feeling there's a way you could fall off, so you you cannot spin dash on a plane. Who would have thought he can't keep up with my spin dash? He can just keep up with catching me. Come on, Tails, what kind of sidekick are you? You can't even catch me with my spin dash. Oh, I guess I'm just getting too worn out and aggravated. I'm getting more on a tirade and everything else here. Gosh, look at this timing I got. I am playing like an old man. Yeah, it's definitely showing in the age. I think the older I get, I'm just going to be playing less speed games and more, um... Good lord! Get this damn thing away from me! Probably be playing more uh, turn-based RPGs. <laughs> that's, a, that's a speed I can handle. Alright, 
fantastic. We're getting there. <laughs> now this 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 uh is a nice peaceful level for you, but it's not that hard. I'm just playing terribly, trust me. If uh if I was on top of my game this would not be as bad, but like I said, it's been a hectic uh night throwing together everything to stream again because it's been so long. But um yeah, I'm always up for suggestions. If you guys know for next Sunday, I am pretty um, adamant about sticking with the Sega Genesis collection, just because there's plenty of great games. Um, this rewind feature makes it a lot easier for me to BS with you guys and not get as frustrated, even though I'm still getting frustrated while playing this. Oh. You know what's going to be hell? Turning into Super Sonic on this level. I almost want to avoid it. But yeah, I've... Okay, what have I done on the Sega Genesis collection? I've done Sonic 1, I've done Golden Axe 1, and I played terrible on that one. <laughs> Only beat the beginner mode. Funny thing about Golden Axe on Sega is I played Golden Axe 1 a fair amount, but it was at a friend's house that owned it, so I always played two players. The only Golden Axe I actually grew up owning was Golden Axe 2. And I beat that one solo back in the day. I think that one's harder than one, but that's why I wasn't as familiar with it. Oh crap. I didn't even want to turn into this bozo. Yeah, let's, let's just fly off the screen now and not know what the hell's going on. Um, yeah. That's why I want Super Sonic. Can't control a damn thing. Okay, where am I supposed to go from here? Up here? Okay, that's a wall. See, now I'm stuck where there's a wall. Look at this. I think this is a spot I'm not even supposed to access. Look at that. If this was a regular game, I would be stuck in there. There's no way out. There is no jump down in Sonic like Contra. Am I supposed to be going down on these? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be going. Yep. And then that. See, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Because it's stupid supersonic mode. Look at this. Uh... Okay, just landing on these is going to be hard enough. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh! There we go, I just had to jump over. You stupid supersonic. Oh, well, they're gonna play this cute game with me. This is not an ability you want on this level. You know, they'll never give you this ability when you're fighting a Robotnik. That'd just be too damn convenient and useful. Yeah, this is really, honestly, a curse. Having this damn ability. I'm gonna have to watch some speedruns online. I wonder if it shows anybody who's just cruising through this game like nobody's business in supersonic mode. I'd have to, say, I'd have to tip my hat to them because this ain't making sense to me. Ah, the flow of these damn levels, I swear. Okay, it keeps throwing me over here. So do I want to go up? Do I want to go down? Oh yeah, this fun. Forgot about this BS. Yeah, oh, we got these things floating around. You gotta keep hitting that, uh, whatchamacallit? Whoops. Forgot the three of them. Uh, we're gonna have to rewind a little bit more than that. Yikes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Where was my opportunity to hit that? We're supersonic mode now. Alright, how many do I got? I got 34? Dang. This I could actually use to be Super Sonic in. I'd love to see how Super Sonic can handle this. Ah, come on, finally get it. Okay, 
Okay, now I gotta get away from it. Whatever. Take the hits. Let's get out of here. Finally. And level still ain't over, of course not. Put on some turbo boost to catch up with that tails. Ah, Streets of Rage, well, Ryu, um, we actually did the Streets of Rage trilogy already. But, I'm with ya. That was fun doing that uh, live stream. You know what, I might go with the Gold Maxes next week. Maybe I'll do gold next two, and I've never beaten three. I've only beaten one and two. So that'd be kind of interesting. That's a good suggestion. I'll lean towards the golden X route. So that stuff pans out, you know? Alright, let's see what the damage says here. Oh, it's all zero ring fun now. Oh uh, yeah, I hated this uh, this Sonic the first time I fought him. You gotta have his pattern memorized, and you gotta hit his head just perfectly right. There we go. Oops, lucked out on that one. Ah, forgot he spits uh, spikes on the second time around. Clever. There we go. It was just the old spike spit we forgot about. Alright, now the real fun begins, guys. Ah, the timing of Dr. Robotnik. I forgot. You gotta hit him just perfectly on the gut, ain't it? Or when can you hit him? When can you hit this bozo? I gotta sit here and wait, and then he'll try to stop me, and then he do... Yeah, you get like one hit in, then he does that, okay. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Okay. Yikes. Okay, he shoots both arms. Okay, now we know his pattern. One, and you can't touch any part of that arm. Dang it! Okay, this is gonna be awful. <laughs> okay, should I duck this is the question. No, you can't duck it. What the hell's going on here? Okay, he falls, he swings his gut. I tried to hit him. You get one hit in there, one hit there, okay. Two hits, alright. Yeah. That's always that one, um, sneak one in. Uh oh. What do I do when he corners me? Um... <laughs> trying to cop a hit. That didn't work out too well. There you go. So he swings back, hit him. Let him shoot those arms at you. Hit him again. And I never counted with Robotnik. How many hits is he? Is he like six hits? Is he... Well, I can't hit him in the back, I'm assuming. Uh, no, he can. Maybe he can. Did that one. Ah, it's like that fire you can't hit. I'm seeing if I could just squeak in another hit. No.
And it's interesting what can hit and what can't hit on this guy. And, ah, uh, How come he's always pointing the other direction? Let's wait for him to fall. I'll wait the other way. I think you want him facing you. Dang, man. See, that's what made this boss so scary for me is because when we're like the proper times you can actually swing in a hit on him, it's like that one spot only, it seems. I know there's more than one way you can hit him, though. See, like right here. It's like, okay, but then that hit me. It's like, what a rip. Yeah, the fire on the pack. Nope. Look at that. Can't hit nothing with that. What a mess. You hit his jetpack, your SOL. I gotta say, this, uh... This Sonic boss is probably my... the hardest for me out of any of the Sonics that... I've beaten or played. Not just because I'm playing them so half-assedly tonight, it's just, uh, in general. Even as a kid, I struggled with this one. I did eventually beat him, but man, he took a lot of tries for me. Because, as you can see, I just don't have the patience for him. Because it's like, when can I swing in a hit on this moron? Like, they never give you enough time. Because I remember whenever I'd play this one in the past, this one was uh, Eric's bread and butter. He had this uh, he had this boss down pretty good. If we ever did the two-player route and Tails couldn't play, I usually um, I'd give it the couch try. If I couldn't beat him on the first or second try, usually handed it over, and he always handled that one pretty well. Dang it, man! Look at this. Okay, we gotta make sure he's facing me, so. This is, that's the only time that seemed safe to hit him. Oh, come on. Ah, that's swinging down. Okay, when am I supposed to hit him? He falls down, he swings up, I hit him, I go back. This is just... Hell. That timing is sick that you need for this, uh, boss. I mean, I guess I get it. It's the final boss, so they can't give you a ring. Any rings, but... I don't know. They really should have gave him, given you at least one ring to try to juggle with. That's the only way I can see of actually getting a hit in on him. Safely. I mean, obviously there's other ways to get hits in on him. Like right there, I should have one left. I wasn't even paying attention if there was a better direction. But that's BS there. It's like, man, how perfect you gotta hit this yo-yo. Alright. I'll take it. That was a pretty punishing boss. I wish, for you we could do Sonic 3. It's not on this compilation. Alright, I'm gonna try to get back to you guys. Because I know I missed on some conversations here. Yeah. I would love to do Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles, but they don't have it on this damn compilation. I don't That's really missing out. Now we gotta enjoy this special ending, because this is the Super Sonic got all the uh, emeralds. There you go, the Super Sonic ending. So this is about the best ending you're gonna get on this one. Because I remember the ending um, without getting the Chaos Emeralds, it's pretty similar. I think it's just regular Sonic standing on top of the uh, airplane. And then he like jumps out at you with his finger or something at the end. So if you're supersonic, I guess you don't have to ride the plane, because you're such a badass, you just fly. And there you go. There's your fancy supersonic ending. I think that's really the only difference right there. It just shows you how supersonic fly in. 
Which doesn't make much sense to me because you weren't able to be supersonic to fight Robotnik. And in my opinion, for how hard it was to get the Chaos Emeralds to be supersonic, they really should have rewarded you by um, being able to fight Robotnik as supersonic. The heck with this, man. I don't care if it's easy. It was hell to get those damn emeralds. Even cheating, it was hell to get those emeralds. Madness. Alright, um... Thanks, Ryu. I don't know, um... If Fantasy Star 1 is unlockable, but you bring up a good point, Mega Gray. I really am... I've never beaten any of the Fantasy Stars. I, they are on my bucket list, a very long bucket list, but you know, that'd be a pretty cool casual play to the Fantasy Stars. I'm gonna look into seeing if Fantasy Star 1 is unlockable. If it is, and we can rewind, and we can play this way, I would seriously consider you know, going through the Fantasy Stars with you guys, but I don't know, how long do you think it takes to beat Fantasy Star 1? Is that easy? Is that a long RPG? I mean, it's an RPG, it should be a few hours. I mean, I've streamed Dragon Warrior 1, which was L, so I think I could uh, do a better game. I should look into that. <laughs> Rage quit, huh? But we have rewind and fast forward, Ryu. Wouldn't that help from rage quitting? Yeah, I mean, I'm still considering Fantasy Star games. Ah, uh, it's old school hardcore. Well, I don't know, maybe if I'm prepared, if I have some maps. I mean, is the rewind feature gonna make a big difference? Because here's my thing, Dragon Warrior 1 was hell because it was a grind fest. I had to bust out the Game Genie to get through that, and that was just for experience. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to keep it to these um, arcade type games that I can at least get beat in an hour or two. But I would like to get into, once we got a good flow again of streaming every week, that's my goal to get back on track with. Um... Fantasy Star would be considerable, but I gotta do a little bit of homework, it looks like, on here. From what you guys are telling me. <laughs> it can't save you, huh? Well, you know what, Mega Gray, I gotta go with my right hand man, Ryu, and if he says it's that bad, I I'm going to have to probably go with his safe predictions here. You know what? Um, let's see here. You know what, guys? Let's take a quick look at the collection while we're here. What about Shining Force? Is that series on here? What about Shining Force? Is that a worthwhile one for um, live streaming in the future? That's another uh, series I never really gave. Yeah, I wish there was Outrun. Look at this. Look at this compilation here, dude. I, I thought Outrun was on here. Yeah, here's... We got um, L and then P. There's no O. Outrun was completely missed. Uh, let's take a quick look. We did um, Sonic 1, Sonic 2. Sonic 3D, I'll probably do... Hey, Ryu, Sonic Spinball. I could torture myself. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just sit there and Sonic Spinball a night, just uh, for Ryu's sake. He could give me some pointers on it. Uh, Space Harrier 2. Well, I did all three of the Streets of Rages. I did that one night. That was really fun. I could always do that again, but I really don't want to keep streaming the same stuff on you guys. I already did Toe Jam and Earl. I never did num the sequel, though. That might be interesting. Wonder Boy games aren't bad. I haven't beaten the Sega Genesis variants. I've beaten the uh, Turbo ones. Vector Man 1 and 2, I've beaten number 1. I, I actually originally have both of these. I never beat 2. Those are kind of funky. Mm, columns, yeah, let's do that. Kind of hard. I don't know if I could do that one. But rewind and fast forward might save me on it. Might. E-SWAT. That game is tough. I'd need Game Genie for that. 
Yeah, maybe the Golden Axe. Gunstar Heroes is fun. As long as I put it on easy, I got a chance. <laughs> so, I'm guessing this is going to be my whole thing, guys. We'll do a couple more arcadey ones. We'll uh, keep talking like we've been. And then we'll decide on uh, what RPG-ish thing to get into. Like, um, maybe we'll dive into the Shining Forest Fantasy Star. If Ryu doesn't give it a golden seal of approval, sorry, I'm probably not going to jump on it then. Because <laughs> I trust that man's judgment. He's, uh, steer he's never steered me wrong. What about Sword of Vermilion? That one I hear a lot of good and bad about. I never really played that one. That's something interesting. Shinobis aren't bad. I'm just not very good at them. I mean, the only games I'm actually good at, I can even think of, be like Kid Chameleon, which I've streamed before on original hardware. But having to save Rewind, we could probably mow that one down easy one night with the Rewind feature. I should look into that. But, um, yeah. Now, any, anyway, guys, um, just chew on it. Hit me up on the community tab on YouTube, whatever else. I mean, we'll get there. But um, this is pretty much my goal to um, focus on. I do have some other PS4 games and stuff. If I'm really feeling, feeling adventurous, I might jump in and do some of the VR games for a stream. Maybe for a quicker stream, because I, to be honest, I can only str um, stream VR for maybe about an hour, or a little bit over an hour. Just because, I mean, you're standing the whole time normally, and it, it just takes a lot out of you. And it's kind of hard to keep up with the conversation, because... I don't know if you guys remember when you're doing the VR games. I only get to see blips of the conversation while I got the headset on, so we'll have to go from there. But either way, guys, I appreciate. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll pop and flicky. That's another one. And Vermilion's always a good choice. Okay, well if it's Izzy's, I might have to jump on that one. <laughs> Yeah, a wingman for Gunstar Heroes would be nice. I don't even know if this does uh, the online play. I might jump on that or look into it. That would be interesting. I didn't know if it does that or not. But um, either way, we, we grounded out a good one. Sonic 2, we can check off our list. And um, we'll shoot for next Sunday night, guys. I appreciate you guys coming out. Sorry I've been pretty much, um, you know, absent for quite some time, but just getting a lot of stuff situated on my end, and I think a nice gradual way back into the channel is I'm just going to start live streaming again and BSing with you guys and I'll slowly but surely have some new content coming for you guys most likely just reviews but um you never know I got a couple surprises up my sleeve for you but other than that it was great BSing with you guys and I'll uh, catch up with you guys next week look forward to seeing what we decide on we'll see what kind of mood I'm in but till then I'll talk to you guys later take it easy